The DJI Neo is the smallest drone that DJI make and it's their entry level into their ecosystem or their family of drones. It actually bridges both FPV and normal flights. You can use a controller, a normal controller, or you can use an FBB controller with this. So it, it, it sits in two camps. But it's designed really as a mini selfie travel type of drone aimed at beginners, solo content makers, and really only for social media content where you look at the quality of the camera which is okay but it has its limitations and I think people will outgrow it in a short time however this might be what DJI want because it it is impressive product for the price starting at 169 pound without any controller and if you move on to buy another drone like the DJI Mini 4 then the second hand resale value of the DJI Neo should be strong but let's take a look at what DJI don't tell you about the Neo. The Neo doesn't have any collision avoidance on the front or the back or the sides. It does bang against things and it's, it is protected with all of these prop guards but it doesn't have any collision avoidance. That's one of the problems with it. There is also no SD card here. The memory storage is only internal. There's 22 gigabytes of internal memory storage. There is no external slot for an SD card. Uh, it doesn't take raw images, it only takes JPEG still images, no raw. So that's another thing that's, that they don't tell you about. The battery life is advertised at 18 minutes, but that flight time is physically indoors without these top prop guards on. It's not real life. Real life is between 10 and 12 minutes. And you can see on the screen uh, now, when you battery life, that's the only, that's the sort of battery life you'll get in winds of this sort of level, medium winds. The DJI Neo is very noisy. It attracts attention. It's far more noisy than the Mini 3 or the Mini 4. They're quite quiet. When you're flying those outside, you don't get attention. People just don't really notice you. You put this up in the air with that high pitch whine, people notice you. Let's uh, compare it to the Mini 3 behind me. So you can see here I've got the Mini 3 now flying and you can see how quiet that is compared to the Neo. Let's put the Neo up as well by the side of it. So now you can see how noisy this is compared to the Mini 3. Picking my mic up here, you can see how quiet that one is, how noisy this is. I'll just land this. I hope that gives you a comparison between the two. It doesn't handle the wind very well either. At 135 grams, this is light and it bounces around. Okay, there is good stabilization on the camera, that is a plus, but it doesn't handle winds very well. Yeah, we're now medium winds, moderate winds as it's called in the UK, 12 mile an hour to 18 mile an hour. You can see the trees blowing here and this struggles. If I push this up in the air anywhere above those trees or uh, any height where the, where the wind's coming over the fence, it would be blowing around like crazy. Um, also, when you're flying this with connected to your phone on here, it doesn't have any return to home. It will not return to the point that it's taken off. If you lose it for any reason, or it stops flying, or it loses signal, it just hovers. And the signal uh, distance between the phone and this is supposed to be 50 meters. It's about 30, realistically. So if, you, if the, the Wi-Fi connection loses or drops, the drone just hovers, and it'll hover there until it runs out of battery, then it'll land. It'll just come down as the battery warning gets low. If you fly this over a lake and you lose or the sea or lose the signal between this phone and this, then it'll just hover. And if it's just hovering over the sea, you've got no way of getting it back. When the battery level goes to a low level, it'll just land and it'll land itself in the sea or the lake. Not a good idea over water. So it's, you need to be on using the proper controller to fly this over any form of water. 
if you lose signal using the controller then it has a proper return to home and it'll return to the point that it's taken off or whatever you've set the return to home point to be. But on the plus side, you can fly this without the controller using voice control and palm gestures. It's a fun thing to use. The, the quality of the, um, the camera is okay. It's, for, it's uh, 12 megapixels, it's reasonable. It's got a half an inch sensor and it records 4K video. It's, a, it's a, a trustworthy drone and it's an amazing beginner starter drone at a very competitive price of £169. So that's why it's really successful and it's why it's been successful and people are buying this and it's flying off the shelves. I hope that helps. Bye for now.